Previously on Ranking This Small Business, Anne asked another Charlottesville business owner about renting a space at their location. I think she's going to Google us and like see, you know, who is White Spark? Like, are they for real? You know, who is Darren Shaw? Like, is he really the SEO? I think she's going to like fact check me, which I don't blame her. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. But luckily, Anne knows a lot of people. I talked to a local business owner that's a friend of my husband's who owns a chiropractic pain management well health wellness place. And um, one of the businesses is a drip bar. And that is actually located downtown and is like great location. And so I was able to talk to her and she said yes! That's right, she said yes, and no one was more excited than Darren. Oh my god, we did it! You did it! So, this time on Ranking This Small Business, Darren and Ann established some baseline metrics. For the rest of this episode, I think it'd be really good to look at your metrics. Baseline ranking metrics, because now that we have the address, we have an office, we have to see where do we currently stand so that we can measure the impact going forward. Mm -hmm. And so we have some great data here already. We were able to set up Google Search Console, we were able to set up Google Analytics, and we set you up in WhiteSpark's local rank tracking software. Yay! I'm so excited to see how bad I rank. <laughs> But there's actually something so fascinating with your ranking. Let's just review. These are the keywords that we set up to track. So bridal hair and makeup, Charlottesville, Charlottesville makeup artist, wedding hair, all these are your, your terms that we're tracking. And it's really interesting to me to see that you rank number one for Charlottesville makeup artist. And why? It's because of your brand name. Yes, yes, that is my business name. So it makes sense, you know, but I don't know how many people are actually typing that in. I feel like people are typing in, you know, wedding makeup Charlottesville or makeup artist Charlottesville wedding or something like that. Well, your lead volume would indicate that this is not a super strong track, Yeah. Because you're not getting a ton of leads, but you're ranking really well already for this. And so I think it's these other terms, like where we get bridal and wedding, those ones really make a difference. And so one of the things you can do in our rank tracker, which is super helpful, is you can segment the keywords. So if I wanna see how do I do for all bridal related terms? So I can select all of those and make a group for them called bridal. And that's why the name change that you suggested is such a smart idea. Because when I started Charlottesville Makeup Artist, I was on the right track because everyone told me I was gonna name it Artistry by Anne, but I'm like, who's Anne? Nobody cares about Anne. I'm not Nike, I'm not a brand, you know? I'm just a small little makeup artist business trying to get business. Like I'm gonna call myself Charlottesville Makeup Artist because one day I don't want to be the only artist. Really all we want to do are weddings. That's really Just like a hundred percent of our business. So like, why do I not have what we do in the name? Well, it's amazing that you kind of, you touched on that super powerful local SEO strategy at the very beginning, yeah. just by going with Charlottesville makeup artists. Yeah. And you can see how in these rankings, it's pay, it does pay dividends for that specific keyword. But now, if we're thinking about bridal terms, uh, you know, you can see that for the bridal specific terms, you're kind of ranking in seven, eight, 12, all the way down to into the 30s, depending on how far away you get, right? Now, right now, it's important to note that we're looking at Google Maps. Now, if I look in organic results down below, you are ranking very well. And we can actually see that in the rank tracker as well, because right now we're, we're on the maps view. But let's see, how do you rank in organic results? Oh my God. Number one rankings across the board for so many keywords. I've been working my butt off for that for years. Um, I never played the Google Maps game. I wasn't a player. I didn't know how to play. Well, they kept changing the rules on you. So. <laughs> You already are doing quite well on organic, and I think we definitely have some work to do, To because there's a big question. If you're ranking as well as you are, why don't you have more leads? And so there's a whole opportunity to optimize for conversions on your website. So if I do that search right now, I go uh, wedding, uh, Charlottesville makeup artist and I click this, I see this page. Now this page, when I click learn more, it doesn't do anything. I'm worried that people hit this page, they don't notice that there's a scroll bar here, they don't see any navigation, and then they're like, well. Uh -huh. My website is outdated, confusing, and it's an old, it's old man, it's an old school outfit. We need something snazzy and fun and new and fresh. So I think one of the first things I want to do with your website is just build you a proper navigation 
like just put like nav across the top. It doesn't, it appears once I start scrolling, here it is, but it wasn't there originally. So we can fix that right out of the gates. Uh, and then actually you should have a nice hero image with contact form, like boom, right there, as soon as you get there. And I'd be really curious to see, because I do think your website ranks so well, and it actually isn't that bad. There's just a few things I think that we can do to, to improve conversions on it and make sure that you're driving as much traffic as possible. And speaking of, we can now actually look at your analytics and see how many people are going to your website, how many people, are, what pages are they visiting? We can see all of that in Google Analytics. So let's do that next. This is so interesting to me. From organic search, you you got 17 new visitors. You had 32 visitors that just came directly. They just went, Charlottesville makeup. They went right to your website. But only 17 over the past seven days, oh, 28 days, but we only started tracking data from the 21st. So we only have like, you know, five days of data, but only 17 leads came from search. And considering how well you rank, maybe that's an indication that more people are going to those local results where you're not actually ranking. I believe so. I mean, I think about myself and like, if I'm gonna go to a local service, I'm gonna go to local results. So, this is your home page. So your home page uh, gets the lion's share of, of traffic, 45. But it seems surprising to me that you have that many views of your home page and so few after. This could be a big fix if we just improve your navigation. We go from, you know, 45 people. Right now, only 20% of the people are actually going to oh other pages of your website. They just hit your homepage and they don't go anywhere else. This is so fascinating. So when White Spark helps people do this, is this like the first step that you guys do is like do a benchmark type analysis to figure out where people are? Yeah, 100%. So if, if you sign up with White Spark with our SEO services team, um, if we are managing both your website and your Google business profile, then we get set up with Google Analytics and Search Console. And we definitely want to establish this baseline data. We want to see where are you. Um, and then this is part of our intake process. We make sure that we get set up on, on these properties so that we have the insights. It's like, otherwise you're, you're flying blind. A hundred percent. So this is, so this is like your before. <laughs> You know, with, with us, we have like a before and an Ooh. after. It's like, look how magical we can be. <laughs> exactly. And so it's super important for us to establish that before so that in three months when the client is like, hey, what have you done for us lately? We'll be like, well, we did this and we did this and, and we've had all these impact for you. And so the impact of the metrics themselves is a leading indicator for the real metric that matters, which is how many people are contacting your business. So conversions is the number one metric. That's what we really want to make sure we're doing for you. And then sales, that one's a little bit out of our hands as an agency. We want you to close those sales, but that's, you know, all we can do is pass you the leads and then you got to close. Them. Oh, we're all over that. <laughs> we have your ranking data. We saw that you have really good rankings organically, not so good in the local results. So we're going to work on fixing that. Um, we have some tweaks to make to your website. We can see some problems with your website traffic. You rank so well, why are you not getting more leads? That's an interesting thing. There's one other thing that because you're going to be changing your address, you have to go and update your, uh, your license, right? And so what do you think about changing your name? Have you thought about a new name? I've been thinking about it a lot and I've been going back and forth on it so much. And Nate and I have discussed it backwards and forwards. And I think that we've decided that Charlottesville makeup artist needs a makeover. And that's next time on Ranking This Small Business. Nice.